Today is the death anniversary of renowned freedom fighter and revolutionary poet Qazi Nazrul Islam. The versatile genius fought the British through his creative writings. Nazrul's opposition to the British rule started when he served in the British Army during World War I in the old Bengali 49th Regiment based in Karachi. It was in Karachi where he came under the influence of the Bolshevik Revolution. After the war, Nazrul returned to his native Bengal, determined to write and rally against foreign rule. Within a few years, he was influenced by the non-cooperation movement and became aware of the plight of millions of Indians. The poverty and misery of the Indians would become an important part of his artistic consciousness and poetic of Agnibina. A collection of Nazrul's famous poems from this period are full of his newly awakened political consciousness. One poem from Agni Bina is Bidrohi. <laughs> Similarly, the Khilafat agitation made him realize the necessity and imperatives of a Hindu-Muslim brotherhood that would rise against the British. In November of 1922, Qazi Nazrul Islam was arrested in Calcutta, accused of sedition by the British government. In response to his sedition charge, Nazrul shocked the British by representing himself in court. Nazrul Islam worked for All India Radio Kolkata. He acted in several films and wrote numerous songs. Nazrul Giti is a genre of his Bengali songs. <laughs> Kazi Nazrul Islam breathed his last on August 29, 1976 in Dhaka. In accordance with his wish, which he had expressed in one of his poems, he was buried beside the central mosque of the Dhaka University. The death anniversary of a great freedom fighter, Haipo Jadonang from Manipur, also falls on this day. He fought valiantly against the British rule. The spiritual leader and political activist's quest for freedom brought him in direct conflict with the British. Jadonang was a staunch critic of the British rule and the changes happening in the region marked by injustices, labor, exploitation and taxation. His movement for the establishment of a Naga state was spearheaded in the North Kachar Hills, Manipur and the Naga Hills. He mobilized people and many Naga tribes against the British. He urged his followers to stop paying taxes to the British administration. Jadonang was inspired by Mahatma Gandhi and composed a song in his honor. Jadunong was hanged on the banks of Nambul River in Imphal on August 29, 1931. His legacy was carried forward by his cousin and well-known freedom fighter Rani Kaiden Liu, who spent 14 years in jail for India's independence. The great son of the soil may not be with us today, but Haipo Jadonong's legacy of waging a fight against the British to do away with injustices and oppression continues to live on. <laughs>